Hello? Hey, Dad, it's Steve. Do you have a minute? Uh, I gotta talk to you about something important. Hey, Steve-o! How's that turtleneck mom got you? You know, it's not bad. I like it a lot more than I thought I would. But anyways, listen. I'm dropping out of college. You're what? I have this billion dollar idea. Yeah? And what's that? It's called Microdon. Would you just call me? What? No, no. Look who's talking, micro Dad, stop. I'm starting a computer company. Oh. Yeah, that's still stupid. Why don't you call it something like, I don't know, pear? Banana? You know what, Dad? Never mind. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I know I am because today we're going over my weekly workout split and a few other things. We got three huge announcements. I'll tell you the first one right now. Dubs Company, new launch just went live. It's the Relentless Collection. It's gonna be one of the first links in the description below. We got tanks, hoodies, and premium shirts. I really appreciate if you got some. The two other announcements, we'll get to them soon, so make sure you stay tuned. Now, if you are new to the channel, make sure you guys scroll down, hit that subscribe button. It's helping the channel a ton. We just hit 50K and we got a giveaway coming so soon, you have no clue. And if you wanna be entered in that giveaway, you gotta be subscribed. I just finished up my walk, so now we're gonna head inside and have a little early lunch today. Let's just say it's spicy, it's crunchy, and it's good. And if you're feeling generous, hit the like button. I don't know, up to you though. Hello, my friends. Today we're gonna be cooking up the beautiful spicy popcorn chicken, inspired by the man himself, Remington James. So shout out to you, my man. Let's dive into this, shall we? So before we hop into how to cook this, I wanna tell you guys a little story. The other day I was cooking French toast for this girl. True story, not kidding. Haven't heard from her since. Don't know if it's the French toast or it's me. Who knows? With all these ingredients, you should have them in your house. And I'll start off, it's simple and it's high in protein. We need two big breasts of grilled chicken, closest things I'll ever get to. Then we got cornflakes. You could do Kellogg's or you could do the off-brand, doesn't matter. This is just what I have. Then we got paprika, sea salt. I'm gonna do ground cumin. I'm gonna spice it up a little bit different because I'm Puerto Rican. We gotta add a little bit of Mexican flavor in there. You know what I'm saying? Then we got some garlic powder. The most important thing, according to Remington James, is the ground mustard. Then we got some honey and you will need a cut measure. So the first step is is gonna be to cut the chicken into small bite-sized pieces, similar to my French toast. No, we're not making French toast chicken, even though that would probably be amazing. Next, you're gonna take the larger pieces and cut them in half, that way you have little bite-sized pieces. And while we do that, we're gonna preheat the oven to 735, seven, oh my God, 700 degrees, yeah, burn the house down. While we do that, we're gonna preheat the oven to 375 or 400, it's up to you how fast you wanna cook it. I like to cook it nice and slow, because sometimes being quick is a bad thing. Next step is to slide all the chicken right into a mixing bowl and then set that aside. Next step, we're gonna make the breading of the chicken. You're just gonna take the Kellogg's corn flakes and toss them in here. You're gonna do two cups per pound of chicken. So because I have a little bit more than a pound, I'm gonna do two and a half. Now, of course, you can always add more or less depending on your liking and how much chicken you have. So it's really up to you. The next step is to just crush it. You wanna get it crushed right before until it starts looking powdery. One tablespoon of salt, paprika, ground cumin, ground mustard, ground black pepper, and some garlic powder. You're just gonna take it and you're gonna stir it all up, get it nice and mixed. One of the most important steps is to take your honey. You're gonna do one tablespoon per pound of chicken. I said I had more, so we're gonna do a little more. And you're just gonna toss it right into the chicken bowl. This is gonna work as the binding between the chicken and the breading. Next, you're gonna take all of your seasonings and you're just gonna toss it right in. Sprinkle it all on there. Get it nice and dirty, how we like it. And then you're just gonna dive in. This is the weirdest feeling in the world. Evenly distribute the mush. Fun fact, 10 months ago, I got salmonella food poisoning and I was hospitalized from it. And it was absolutely the worst thing in the world. They had to drug me up so I wouldn't feel the pain. It was some crazy stuff. One of the last steps is gonna be to take your breading. Just pour it right in. You know what's better than having a girlfriend? Cereal and chicken. You gotta be, you gotta be hands deep. So let's cook these bad boys up. Make sure you put your non-stick just for a second, spray it. Next step, just line your tray and make sure they're not touching. Next up, we're gonna toss these bad boys in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how hot you need it. Do you feel a breeze? Goddamn heat wave just nearly took off my eyebrow. Ooh, oh. Now listen, here in Jesse's kitchen, it is supreme chicken only. It's definitely not the French toast of why she didn't text me, I don't think. I'm a good cook. Ultimate anabolic effect, we're gonna toss some Walden Farms Ranch. I have it linked down below. Zero calorie, guys. Wee bit of sriracha sauce, what the girls call me, red hot. 
Official taste test featuring John West, my father. <laughs> John is unresponsive. Try it. It's not bad, right? There you go. Don't taste low calorie at all. This is spicy popcorn chicken. I'm gonna put the calories on the screen per three ounces of chicken. If you want something, make your family some food. Maybe you'll get it. Last bite, best bite. Demolished. Hmm. Any ladies out there? Even a single mom, need someone to cook for them? I'm your guy. Let's dive into today's topic, my weekly workout split. So besides this painting and redoing the basement, which I'll get into, that's a whole nother video, don't worry about it. JesseJamesWest.com is now live. It's official, you can buy training plans. There's about me, there's my socials, it has everything, okay? Click it down below in the description. It's an awesome website. Me and my boy Stelios worked extremely hard on it. So check it out and if you wanna support me, go grab a new plan off the website. I have my personal workout plan that we're gonna go over. So let's do it. So when you're on jessejamesWest.com, I have different plans for the amount of days a week that you wanna work out. I have three, four, five, and six. And an at-home workout plan. So as I go through my personal training plan, it's gonna help you decide on how you should be training and what plan you need. And the plans last either six or 12 weeks. You can run them twice. When developing my personal split, I looked at three elements. The split in my weekly schedule, pretty much how often I can lift throughout the week. Five days, six days, four, three. How busy am I? If you are an athlete, definitely go with a plan that's either three or four days if you're in season, but if you're out of season, you can go five or six. The next thing is frequency, and that's gonna be how often you're gonna be hitting the muscles per week, one or two times per week. All of the plans that I give on my website, besides the three-day plan, you can pretty much hit your muscles twice a week. The last thing is gonna be your training volume. This has to do with your experience level, as well as how long you wanna be in the gym. Now that we got the basics down, let's go into what I do every single week. So for my personal training split, especially in quarantine with having so much free time, I'm able to work out six days a week. So what I do is I have Sunday, I have an off day. Monday, I do shoulders and legs. Tuesday's a push, which is chest and triceps. I like to put shoulders on leg day because they need a little bit more work. So I hit them first and fresh. That way I put all my efforts and energy into them. Wednesday, I have a pull session and that's gonna be my first deadlift session of the week along with back and biceps. Then Thursday, we repeat the shoulders and legs without any deadlifts for hamstrings. Then for Friday, we do another push workout, chest and triceps again, and then Saturday, Day, we have a pull session with no deadlifts. And throughout this week, I'm doing abs and calves almost every single day. As you see, I'm hitting every single muscle two times per week. Besides abs and calves, I'm hitting probably four times a week. They can take a big load. That's what you said. For each individual workout and each individual muscle, I'm gonna do 20 to 25 sets per muscle. This is a very high number, and honestly, a lot of people say that it's too high, but I just personally like doing that. I don't feel like I get a lot out of just doing 10 sets. And the workout plans I make for people, I always give them a little bit more than other plans because I don't believe that 10 sets is enough per muscle per session. This leaves us with 40 to 50 training sets per muscle per week, which is fantastic. It's worked for me for the past six years. It's what I've done. Now, lastly, I wanna go over the order of my workout and how I kind of go about and, and tackle my workouts. I'm gonna take you guys through an entire workout after this, so stay tuned for that if you wanna see how I work out my mindset. The heavy compounds, we're going with barbell work. It's like overhead press, squat, bench, and deadlift, all your main compound movements, stuff you wanna focus on getting stronger with. Moderate sub-compounds, they're not my primary, they're my secondary compounds that I'm focusing on. Which will include dumbbell and machine work. So things like dumbbell or machine overhead press, leg press, incline dumbbell press, and things like pull-ups. And then for the light accessory work, it's more like side laterals, curls, leg extensions, cable fly, lat pull downs, and lat rows. Add all these together, you have one hell of a workout, and that's exactly what I did for you on my website. So enough plug in that, but for real, they're good workouts. I have had zero complaints. Just like how you guys wanna help me get a girlfriend, I wanna help you guys reach your goals. I think it's a win-win right there. So let's go take some pre-workout and get into this lift. It is now time for the beautiful announcement number three, and that's gonna be, I am now a Transparent Labs athlete, baby. So if you guys want to support me and support Transparent Labs, you can use the link in the description and use code JESSE at checkout for 10% off. That feels crazy to say. When Transparent Labs reached out to me, I knew it was a good fit because yeah, as you guys know, I'm a very transparent person and I like to know what I'm putting in my body. So on the back of these labels, it's labeled everything that's in here and it's transparent, like it says in the name. You guys know I would not promo anything or take a sponsorship of anything that I don't take myself. So we're gonna get ready for this workout. It's a bit late, so I'm gonna do the stim free pre-workout. I've been using this one a lot. I made sure I tested these out for a few weeks and I like this one the most because I have too much caffeine in the morning for my coffee. So this is perfect. Take one scoop, you still get all the benefits of pre-workout without the caffeine. We toss that bad boy right in there and we're gonna use code Jesse at checkout. This tropical punch is great because it's actually smoother. It's not so sour as some other pre-workouts are. So if you're into a smoother drink, this is the one. 
Throughout the workout, I'll be sipping on the BCAs. This is a branch chain amino acid. It's basically a base form of protein. It's perfect for recovery and fueling your workout. And I'll be rocking the strawberry lemonade. We're gonna go into my full back and bicep workout. And like I explained earlier, I'm gonna go over my thoughts of training. So we're getting into the first working set of my deadlifts. Now, when I first start doing my workout, like I said earlier, I do heavy compound movements. For today's workout, since it's a pull day and it's the first one of the week, we got deadlifts. It's one of the hardest exercises you can do. It's one of the best. Builds a lot of strength, builds a lot of muscle. We're gonna dive into it. We're gonna do sets of four to six, about three to four sets, and we're gonna hit it hard. A lot of you guys ask why I use straps for my deadlift. It's simply because I don't wanna wear out my grip strength for when I actually work out my back for about an hour. So I put these on for deadlifts and I don't wear them for back. <laughs> All right, that is gonna conclude my heavy compound focus for today's lift. Now we're gonna move into stuff like pull-ups, lat pull-downs, and dumbbell rows. We're gonna fly through those, four sets of eight to 12 reps on all of them, going moderate weight. So we're still going pretty heavy, but nothing too crazy. We're gonna focus on squeezing the muscle, and getting the blood flow, getting that pump, and getting them gains, baby. So let's get into that now. <laughs> You know the ladies aren't like, yo, sick back. Right? Why, why aren't the why aren't the girls like, yo, gnarly gnarly delts, dude? The girls would be like, yo, you got insane pecs, like stellar biceps. But the dudes, they're like, bro, his back is flared. Like, where's it at, dog? Bodybuilding is a fine art. We must chisel away at the delts, the abs, not the calves. We ignore those. Totally ignore the calves. Okay, we were born the way we were. Leave me alone. That's ISO. <laughs> Rack it up, rack it up, I got a bit of the bank to make me a safe house Shake it up, shake it up, she got her hands on her knees and she bringing the cake out Smoke it up, smoke it up, I got some gas, some packs, I'm up in the greenhouse Ball it up, ball it up, I'm in the game we take a So something that I'm a big believer in is manifesting And I've talked about this in the past where when you speak things out to existence And you write them down and you really believe that you can make something happen It happens and I've been doing it over and over and over and over. And as you see, this family has been growing on YouTube so much. And first of all, thank you guys so much. Like these sponsorships and all these views and numbers and stuff, they mean a lot to me. It'd be nothing without all of you. So seriously, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. And I want that to motivate you for whatever you want in life to write it down, speak it out and go attack it and do it. And it might seem redundant to hear this. You see this on Instagram and stuff, but like, it's seriously true. Like the reason the people up here that are so successful got there are because they believe in themselves. If, if they never believed in themselves, they would never have ever climbed the ladder to the top. Not saying I'm at the top. I want you guys to climb your own ladder and you can, and you have to believe that. Because if you don't believe yourself, you got nothing. That's what I have to say. All right, we just finished up back. Now we're gonna move into biceps. And like the order goes in the workouts that I explained before, we're gonna do one heavy exercise with the biceps. It's gonna be a barbell curl. It's gonna be the first one, and then we'll dive into the lighter one. It's where the ladies start start opening their eyes and then closing them and walking away because they don't come my way. So let's get into the arm workout. <laughs>
kill. Holy sh**, dude. Uh. Oh. That is a wrap on today's workout and today's video. Guys, if you enjoyed this video and if you learned something most importantly, which I really hope you did, just think about hitting that subscribe button. I would truly appreciate it. Hit the like button if you're feeling generous. But also, make sure you go check out Dubs Company, Transparent Labs, and JesseJamesWest.com. All my codes are down below. All the links are down below. I'm just trying to help you guys out. I love you all. Thank you all so much for 54K we're at while filming this video. I'll catch you all in the next one. More bangers to come, baby. Peace. Peace. Ninja!